Welcome back everyone. I am Zell and this is Fusion Friday number three. We've learned a lot of stuff about sketches and I may be going a little far here, but I received some screws in from TI Connectors the other day and we need something to put them in. So we're going to be using a lot of the stuff we learned today. I'm going to be going through it rather quickly, especially the stuff we learned so that we can get to a finished box with magnets in it that will hold those screws. Now we've got uh, four different types of screws. They're all small, they're knife screws. So we're gonna make a box that is 127 millimeters by 89 millimeters. That's like five inches by three and a half inches. We're gonna put four little thing, four little spots to put screws in it. Uh, 19 millimeters high, that's around three quarters of an inch. And we're going to put a five millimeter lid on top of it. So we'll end up with a total box height of what is that? 24 millimeters, just under an inch. And here we go. All right. Well, that's actually an end mill vase that I designed and we'll already saved. So we'll go to a new design and we're going to do a whole lot of stuff just like we did last time. Uh, we are going to do create new component right here. We can create an empty component. We can call it uh, box bottom because that's where we're going to start. And uh, the deal here is we're going to make everything off of one drawing. So hold on. It'll, it'll gonna be fun. So go to new sketch. We want to look down on it from the top. So we're going to click right there. And just like last time, we're going to use a... Uh, center rectangle because we want to be able to use those lines coming off the origin. So we've got uh, 127 by 89. All right, pretty small box really, but should end up pretty cool. And I'm sorry if there's noise in the background, a couple of the printers are running and uh, that's just part of life around here anymore. So we are not going to uh, do the thing where we use the fillets. We're going to use circles. And I'm going to see if I can find another drawing here. All right, here we go. I got all the measurements I needed. Okay, first thing, we're going to do a circle, and we're going to do it... Eh, well, probably not a good place for it, but we need to do 12.7 and hit enter, and I think, yep, it did come free. So we're gonna do that same trick. We're gonna use the, uh, where to go? Tangent. We're gonna touch tangent there, tangent there, boom, it drops right in place. And then we're gonna tangent this one, same circle, to the other line. Boom, it drops in place. We're gonna hit escape, we're gonna put a couple of lines across that origin because we need something to use to, uh, that's not what I want, uh, use to go, all right, I don't, there we go. Snap wasn't working for me there for a second, but it's back. And we're going to be actually doing a lot here. The magnets are eight millimeter magnets, so we're gonna hit C again, go right back here. We're gonna go 8.2. Oh, what happened there? 8.2. That is not working for me. 8.2. There we go. I don't know what was going on there. That was kind of weird. Okay, so we have that is circle to round off the edges here. And then we have a circle in here to extrude down for the magnets. Now, I know that I, and I probably should have done this earlier, but it'd be okay. I want to do an offset of that and I want it to be four millimeters. And ugh, four millimeters, that's a little tight on this box what three looks like three is going to look a little better give us a little more room so we'll do that offset at three millimeters uh and what we're doing here let me get some of this stuff out of the way 
is we're giving ourselves this all the way or a border all the way around. Uh, and we're going to do a couple more offsets that uh, should be interesting. We've got all of our circles, so what should we do next? Uh, well, let's mirror our circles. So we have them all here. So we want to go to sketch and mirror, and we want to mirror that circle and that circle. And just like we did in the last Fusion Friday, we want to mirror them there. Tell it OK. Then we want to do another mirror. And mirror all four, the two that we just made and the two that we started with. And our mirror line, we want to be here. That drops them down there. So we got mirrors all over the place. We can turn off the show constraints so we don't see all that stuff. And now it looks like we have this huge mess, and we kind of do. Uh, but it's not as bad as you think. We have this trim command. You hit T, and then you can get rid of all these extra lines. Be careful. See, I just got rid of one I shouldn't have. So you're going to want to zoom in, make sure you get the right line, and make sure you get all the little remnants of the line, because there will be remnants, I guarantee you. But we don't need that. We do need these, but we don't need that. We don't need that. Now, the right way to have done this, and actually on this one, we're even though we didn't last week, just to make me feel better, I'm going to trim those off. Uh, and you don't have to do all of this trimming. If you want to go through the extrusions and just uh, make sure you get the right stuff on the extrusions, no need to trim all this stuff, but sometimes you get too much junk and uh, you just would have been better off to trim everything up. And that's what I'm doing here. I don't want to get caught with a whole bunch of stuff and missing something. Because quite honestly, guys, we are very close already being where we want to be. Because all we need is one drawing to make this box. It's going to be not a complicated drawing, but there's going to be quite a bit of stuff in it. And did I get the... I did. So, there we go. See, I missed the trim. Now let's look. I think we are almost good to go. Get rid of that. And this. And we have a pretty box ready, almost ready to be extruded. We got to do one more thing. Now there's probably an easier way to do this, but I'm going to go O for offset. I'm going to go to that line. We said three millimeters, so I'm going to go 1.5. Uh, positive offset, I'm going to tell it OK. And I'm going to do offset again, off the same line, offset, and I'm going to go 1.5. I'm going to hit the flip thing. So that will give us three millimeters across. We'll have to trim all that up here in a minute. And then I'm going to do offset again. I'm going to pick this line. I'm going to go 1.5. and Tell it OK, hit offset again, and I goof that up, hit offset again, go 1.5, hit flip button, and there we have, once it figures it out, there we have all of our border lines. Now, we don't need to mirror anything else, so we can hit the trim command, we can get rid of all these extra lines. All right, there we go. Now, if we escape out of there, we have that will light up all on its own all the way around. Very good. Just make it easier as we move along. And guys, we're done with the sketch, I think. Yeah, we're done with the sketch. So 
time to extrude. So we, I'm going to hit E for extrude. And the first thing I'm going to extrude are these four. I'm going to go up uh, two millimeters with them. Probably don't even need to go that high, but we will just so we've got a good solid bottom on the box. Uh, so we'll go up two millimeters there. That's a new body. We'll tell it okay. Turn our sketch back on. And this time we have to go to box bottom, sketches, and turn the sketch back on. Hmm. All right. So a little different than doing it without the sketch setup. Sorry about that. And then we're going to hit extrude again. This time we're going to pick all this, including these. And I'll show you what we're going to do to make our little holes here in a minute. And this is not a new body. This is a join. And we want to go 19 millimeters. So now there's our little box. Tell it OK. I have a neat little box. And but we need these, right? The holes for our magnets because, well, yeah, that's kind of important. OK, so go to bodies in your component over here. Turn the body off for a minute. Hit extrude. E for extrude. Choose each one of these. And then we're going to turn the body back on. We're going to go start from object. And click there. Changes where our arrow's at, right? And these magnets are two millimeters thick, so we're going to go 2.1 millimeters. And the arrow's pointing up right there, so we need to go minus 2.1. And if you saw, that made it a cut. We didn't have to choose it. It chose it for us. And we are good to go. Now, we need a lid for this thing before we start doing chamfers and all that other crazy stuff. So how are we going to get a lid? Well, we're going to do the same trick, except a little bit different. We're going to turn this body off. We're going to hit extrude. We're going to basically select, see if it'll select everything. No, it's not going to. But there we go. We got everything selected. Uh, I said our lid was going to be five millimeters. Let me check that and make sure I really want to do five millimeters. And yes, I want to do five millimeters. But we're going to have to go 2.1. Yeah, that'll work. So five millimeters right there in that box. Now, that's not what we want to do. So see, that, if I turn this body back on, that puts it right over the top of the box, which just makes a big mess out of things, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. So we want to go to start. And we're going to go from object. We're going to select this object, which moves the arrow up here. And we're going to go five millimeters. And make sure you do new body. Because if you don't do new body, it just connects it all together, and it was pointless to do it this way. But we do it this way, and we have used this one drawing to create that body and that body. And I should have done this, but we'll uh, create component from bodies. That will move. Should have moved. Dang it. All right. So... Should have moved our lid to here. It did. Thank goodness. Sometimes that doesn't work. So we're going to turn our sketch off. And now we can turn our lid off. See down in there. Everything's cool. We turn our lid back on. We can turn the lid off here. Turn the lid on there. We can turn the box bottom. Uh, see, the box bottom is connected component. That's not good, but now um, we'll work around it. So we have both the components. Let's turn our lid off for a minute and let's work through our uh, fillets. So these things are kind of tricky. Hit fillet and you're going to want to, down in these corners, you're going to want to get the curvy ones first. If you don't get the curvy ones first, uh, you will pay for it. Believe me. It'll cause miscalculations and all kinds of bad things to happen 
that uh, make doing this a lot harder. So let's go there, let's go five millimeter, no, not even close. Go 10 millimeter. 10 millimeter, not what I usually like to do, but I do need to be somewhat careful that we don't run this box because of its size. We're, we're gonna do 10. Uh, normally I would bring that up a little higher, but uh, don't wanna do that on this box. So hit the control key, which lets you select more stuff to add to your fillet command and most other commands and select all those other lines down in there with it. And we should be good to go. Just be sure and get all of those lines, all those corners, because you forget one, and I have many times, you forget one, it ruins the whole project, and then you spend hours printing it, and you're like, oh my goodness, I used that up. Okay, so I see one I missed here. Now we'll see you, what you want to see whenever you are doing this specific thing. You want to see this roundy looking thing all the way around every one of those holes. If you see that, you're in good shape. And this is a top side one, so rolling ball, constant radius, fine. Tell it okay. Think on it for a minute. And we are almost done with the bottom of the box. Check this out. We're gonna go uh, fill it again. No, I take that back. Because we're gonna do the, we're gonna use a chamfer all the way around there, there, all the way around the inside and outside, a very small chamfer. And once again, be sure you select all these lines because if you miss one and then you go to print it, it just looks like garbage. And you spent blue several hours worth of printing. Be careful when you're selecting them too. Make sure you get the right ones. Or you can go up in this menu. I'll show you here in just a second. If you're having problems with selecting through, you can go up to the select menu. You can go down to filters and you can uncheck select through. Uh, as you're learning Fusion, you can either fight with it or you can uncheck select through. And a lot of times that will assist you in not selecting things or yeah, in not selecting things you didn't mean to because you can select through the body, even though the body looks solid in the 3D space. So we want to do distance and angle. Keep it at 45 to a one. Yeah, that's going to be a little. Well, I don't know. I don't know what you guys think. I actually kind of like it. Yeah, we're going to leave it there. We're going to leave it at one and tell it okay. Remember, we did that at one millimeter. That's going to become important. One millimeter, 45 degrees, whenever we go to do the lid. And then we are also going to do the same thing on all of these circles, except we're going to be doing it at like 0 0.2 or 0 0.3 millimeters. Uh, 0.2. Yeah, let's go just a little bit more. And this is just to facilitate getting those little magnets down in there a bit easier. And so we went 0.3 on those. So there we go. We have a box. We need to do one more thing to this box. And that is modify chamfer and grab this whole area down here. And then we got to decide... Uh, we'll start with three. Three look good? Uh, I don't know. It's going to be safe in there, not getting into anything. Uh, the only thing is, I need to be careful not to get too big. So uh, we're five millimeters high at the top. So let's go to, as we've got to chamfer the bottom side of the lid and the top side of the lid. We don't have to, we don't have to chamfer either one, but we're going to. And since we're at 45, I think we're going to leave it at 45 and tell it okay. Okay, so we need to get our lid back. <coughs> Excuse me. And, oh, we forgot to do something with the lid. Do, 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 do. I got all excited. One more thing, kind of neat. We're going to do extrude. We want to grab those. 
Oh, it's all those circles. That, uh, and then again, we want to start our extrusion from an object, and we'll pick that face, and we want to go 2.1. And that should, why is it not doing it? Oh, I see why. 2.1, there's new body we need to cut. There we go. And we are good to go. We can turn that drawing off again or sketch. So first thing we need to do is uh, do a chamfer. Modify chamfer. Sure, you get the outer circle on these. And these aren't really necessary to chamfer. Those little magnets will go in at 2.1. Really good. The only reason I'm going to go ahead and chamfer these is uh, just because uh, I want them to look decent or look a little better. Uh, if I put this file up on Thingiverse, which I will in time, don't be beating on me to get it up there too quick because uh, I've got some paperwork stuff that's working its way through, and then we'll get them up to Thing Thingiverse once I've got all that taken care of. Well, all right, we want to go to modify again, get our chamfer, and remember, that was the one millimeter chamfer at 45 degrees. And the idea there is just to make these two look good whenever they hit. And then uh, we did another chamfer on top, modify chamfer, and we did two millimeters up there. And we'll just tell it okay, because we already know that's what we did on the other one. And we'll turn this body back on. And that's what you get. Now, people, I, I've had people yes and no on this chamfer chamfer thing here. Uh, I like it. It gives me a place positive to put my fingers to push that lid off. Because once you put those magnets in there, they're little, I can't say the word, needonium or whatever magnets. Super powerful little bitty magnets. And you have to slide those lids off. They do not lift. If you go to lift it, you're going to throw the whatever the contents all over the place. So I like putting that chamfer in there. Other people may not. But uh, we, we got one more thing to do. We want to go to the top. And just like that, we want to insert a DFX uh, plane, that one. Select the DFX file. Uh, no, there. And that one. Tell it okay. And you know what? We're actually going to leave it headed that direction and probably leave it that size. I kind of like that. So we'll hit extrude. We'll run that one down. And that one down. And we'll take them down minus point three. And I'm actually not going to chamfer these. See, I want to see the edges on that though, because I didn't. That did not look like it worked like I wanted it to. All right, fine. Go back to that extrude. Again, it didn't choose cut. So, minus 0.3. And there we go. I'm not going to try to do anything fancy to those letters or anything. We'll just let them print the way they are. But that's it, guys. We're not going to go back over it. You can rewind the video if you want to. But we have made ourselves... A box with a lid, four eight millimeter magnets, eight by two magnets, and you can put all your little screws in there. You could uh, use the text function to write the size of the screws there or on the top of it, uh, however you would like to do that. And maybe we'll do a video on how to achieve that, though. Dealing with text infusion, I will tell you, 
is probably a bigger pain in the rear than anything else you may do in Fusion. I, that's why this is a DWG file, makes it easier. From here, it's off to the time lapse, and then we'll be back to put the magnets in it and check out our little box.